This is the supply chain security guidance uh, issued by UK National Cyber Security Centre. So it has uh, 12 principles which are uh, categorized into uh, four categories. First uh, one is the understand being of the risk. Uh, that is to gather the information and performing risk assessment related to your supply chain security and then establishing of supply chain security controls for example if you are over relying on a particular uh, vendor or that vendor is also uh, continuingly failed to meet the security expectation of your organization. Then checking uh, the security controls and security arrangements of your supply chain to gain uh, confidence. And lastly is to continually uh, improve the supply chain security in order to evolve your security with the threats. So, uh, in understanding the risk, the first uh, principle is to understand what needs to be protected uh, in your supply chain and why. So, it may include the information, assets or the services uh, which you are reliant on a contractor. Then you have to know who your suppliers are and build understanding of their security. It may also include the security of the subcontractors. And uh, the third principle is to understand the security risk posed by your supply chain so you perform risk assessment. Then the fourth principle is to communicate your view of security needs to your supplier. Uh, which may include the supplier responsibilities and the implications uh, for not ad adhering to your uh, supply chain security controls. And then you set and communicate minimum security requirements to your uh, suppliers and these requirements should be uh, justified and uh, these re requirements will provide a guidance to your suppliers. And then you build the security con consideration into your contracts and uh, also want your suppliers to provide evidences related to supply chain security controls implemented by them. Then you have to meet your own responsibilities if you are yourself a supplier or maybe you are a consumer. So it may include the reporting and also management of the subcontractors. Then uh, the next principle is to uh, raise the awareness related to supply chain security and it may include the training, education or sharing of security related information uh, with your suppliers. And then you have to provide support for security incidents uh, to your suppliers as well. So you communicate the clear requirements to your suppliers uh, which may include the reporting requirements or the incident response actions. Then in checking of the arrangement you build assurance activities into your supply chain management and this you can do it uh, through contracts or uh, through reporting by your suppliers or the key performance or risk indicators and you can also perform the audit of uh, your suppliers. Then uh, in order to continuously improve uh, uh, you may require uh, the certifications uh, by your suppliers or you may also want them uh, to share with you the security roadmap in order to improve the security of the services 
which are performed by them then you build uh, finally the trust with your supplier this is the last principle so you may uh, talk about the shared security issues with your suppliers and you also value their input and you uh, get their buy in to your security efforts and then you can uh, leave uh, the management of subcontractors on your supplier but you may want them to report the security compliance by their subcontractors and then you have to establish a clear and continuous communication with your uh, suppliers on security related issues so uh, this was all uh, the 12 principles of supply chain uh, security as per the guidance issued by uk national cyber security center thank you